back at it again we're gonna work with Google fonts now so let's go to google.com slash fonts and let's find a cool font for our website hmm. let's see let's check this play Let's choose this one, right? Just to mess around with it. And import, customize, and fit, and then take this like this. So what this is doing is taking this font from Google and now we could use it on our page. And we could say copy this and let's create here div this class Jumbo. Yeah, we'll just call it Jumbo. And let's say Let's save this and say that jumbo H one font family. So let's see how that looks. Now let's say color. So let's put this Let's print this white for way to 100. Let's see how that looks. Alright, I guess it's no change. Alright, so let's see. Now, let's try to get something Galaxy. Look for a 
So what's in here? No, let's go see. Things annoying me. Sorry, guys. Got to change this up. Sometimes I, I could be working on something, and I'm like, "This thing is annoying me. Let me change it. Change this to no hope." Now we could change up the styles. All right. I like it better like this. Now let me see. So pretty much right now I just built another section that's gonna go below here where I'm gonna have to work that I'm working on. So let's say an example. Okay. Work the box. Let's say in background. For now, white. Then with center three point three or whatever. In effect, do it like this. Make it easy. No, make it super easy. this so it's on Play in line block. Now let's do another one.
see if I ain't starting to get an idea of what we're doing here. Let's copy this a couple of times. Pretty simple, right? All right, guys. Keep watching for the next video. You already know. It's your boy, Joe. Make sure you subscribe. Bow.